What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I didn't really watch Raw last night. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't really watch it uh, from other YouTubers that uh, I watch like their podcasts or like their their takes on Monday Night Raw. The ones that I do watch, most of them said it really wasn't that noteworthy for a go-home show. But there was something that they all kind of was, uh, you know, intrigued by. And that's Triple H attempting to basically uh, recruit Kevin Owens to the NXT uh, side of things. And I like this just off the premise alone because they have history. The same way he tried to do with Seth Rollins is the only reason I didn't check that video out because I didn't really too much care for that segment. But this one, I heard this one was pretty in entertaining, so I hadn't checked it out yet. I'm going to check it out with you guys. I'm Hopefully, WWE allows me to post it. I'm pretty sure they're going to demonetize it, but I don't really care. I just want to bring this content to you guys because this was probably the only thing noteworthy on Raw that that i heard of so but let's check it out together man i appreciate all the love and support man road to 10k is on the way let's see what triple h is talking about man tonight we got the opportunity to make some magic you know why i'm here same same general reason i was here for seth rollins but different I have a soft spot for Seth Rollins. I like him. He's passionate. He wears his passion on his sleeve. I like that. I I used to like Seth Rollins, but now I I really don't too much care for him. You can call me fickle, but I'm just not a big fan of where his character has been taken. And it's not all of his fault. It's partially WWE creative, but let's get on with the video. <clears throat> I've got a soft spot, but you're different. You are different. You are a different breed. You are the guy that when I brought you to NXT, you would turn on your own best friend to win the NXT championship. That was a pretty dope feud. To take that championship. Him versus Sami Zayn. That was that was a nice little like blood feud that I liked. John Cena and pick a fight. I remember that. That was pretty dope too. That was so dope. On top of Cena's US championship and the NXT title held above your head. That was a dope moment. I remember watching that live cuz at this point I had just gotten to NXT like right around the time they had their little feud him and Sami Zayn. I just remember it being a moment where definitely Kevin Owens was Starting to get a, a nice push on the main roster. And it, it made him look like a legitimate threat in the WWE. I really wish they would have kept that momentum for him. You. You may be more than anybody put NXT on the map. You may be more than anybody legitimized NXT. I can agree with that statement. And then, and then you were taken. You didn't ask to leave. My guess you didn't want to leave, but you were taken. You were taken by people that didn't understand until they had you that they didn't actually want you. Because you were too talented, because you were too smart, and because you didn't fit the mold. So they told you over and over again they didn't want you. Kurt Angle fired you. Shane McMahon fired you. They looked you in the eye and they told you over and over again, you don't belong here. I feel like there's some actual real truth behind that. But I know where you belong. Like real backstage politics behind that. I know where you belong because I see it in you when I look in your eyes. I see everything you say you are. I see the guy that has one of the smartest in-ring IQs I've ever seen. I see a guy that is every bit as good as he thinks he is and says he is. And I see a guy that doesn't fit the damn mold, and I love it. 
Triple H is and pretty good at promos, guys. man. Right. So you're questioning it. Why are they here? It's not an ultimatum, Kev. You know how I work, and that isn't what this is. <clears throat> they are just here to ensure that you and I can have this conversation. Nothing more. But isn't it ironic that these guys came all the way here for you? But yet everybody in the back, your teammates, your teammates are in that back right now, and they think what you do, that maybe these guys are here to attack you. And are any of them coming out here to help you? No. You know why? Because they don't give a damn about you, Kevin. They don't give Triple H a Triple H is he's pretty good with the you. promos, man. Not going to lie. Whether you hate him or love him, he's he's pretty intense with the promos. It, the other half of why they're not out here is because they know if they walk down that ramp, they're going to get their asses handed to them right there. And they're going to prove to the world that they are no longer the A brand. They are going to prove to the world that Z brand is now... Oh, 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 oh brawl. Let me see who's in that brawl. It looks like a whole bunch of low-key jobbers, to be honest with you. Oh. Oh. Undisputed errors attacking them. Hmm. It's the same thing they did with uh, Seth Rollins. I'm guessing that's it. I guess. Um, the promo itself was cool. I'll say that the promo itself was cool. Uh, a lot of people that I watch on YouTube that review the product, um, they say it's kind of the same thing. Like they've been going with the same angle for the past three weeks, where NXT just invades Raw or SmackDown, and you know. I want to say uh, the past two weeks, we've had Triple H try to recruit either Seth Rollins or Kevin Owens. Now, I do like that in a sense that he has history with both. And I really wish he would have mentioned that he is the reason, one of the big reasons he won the Universal Championship. And that was probably, to me, one of his best moments, bro. It was in Houston, Texas, none other than my home city. And he won the Universal Championship. Uh, I think it was in a fatal four-way. Um, it was Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Big Cass, and Kevin Owens for the vacant Universal Championship after Finn Balor had girt, uh, got hurt. He couldn't basically uh, hold on to the title because he was going to be out with surgery and stuff like that, so he had to vacate the title and whatnot. And it was in Houston, Texas for the Fatal 4-Way. It was a main, main event of Raw, and it was so dope because you thought Triple H was going to help out Seth Rollins, and he swerved, big dope swerve, turned on him. Kevin Owens was the universal champion it was so dope to see the crowd in houston popped gave him an organic you deserve it chant even though he was a heel at the time he got a big face pop reaction and i really wish they would have mentioned it here like he helped him get to that that pinnacle in his career because he saw so much talent with him you know what i'm saying so i really wish they would have mentioned that but outside of that that's the only thing that was notable from this uh segment it's just that interaction with them and then it kind of got to its cliche moments of nxt attacking and you know in the area attacking uh kevin owens so but uh for the most part that segment was cool i am interested to see what happens at survivor series let me know if y'all are gonna be checking out survivor series this year um i'm gonna check it out I'm interested to see what they do. NXT is in the mix. That's making me want to check it out even more. Hopefully, NXT can be the victors between Raw and SmackDown. Because they are truly the A show out of all of WWE. There's no disputing about it. So, But I appreciate y'all kicking it with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace. Peace.